Hello everybody, in this video I want to talk about Magento API access levels. Basically there is three types of access permissions for the REST APIs. So basically it's administrator or integration type, customer type and guest user. Guest user we already seen in previous videos like when we use anonymous resource ref. This type are uh, available for usage without any additional requirement. You can just use uh, this endpoint for customer. We need customer access token and for administrator or integration we need the same we need uh, access token for administrator or integration access token so let's create custom permission to do this we need to create ICL XML and let's copy it from analytics module so we need config we need ICL resources and we need resource with id magento backend admin to be able to see it in the admin panel and we want to create some our custom resource with id Dima hello rest uh, maybe some title hello rest sort order then it will show somewhere in and start and on Dima the rest api title api and sort order same 10 okay actually let's create uh, two more endpoints basically with same functionality but with different permissions let's create admin hello and customer hello we will put ref for admin dima hello rest api and for customer we will put self ref as we saw it in documentation self after we add some XML data we need to clean cache so php bin magenta clean cache it's cc is shortcut for clean cache config and mm, magenta cache docs web api i think config web service mm.
okay now we can try our admin endpoint now you see we get error response for 101 unauthorized and it says the consumer isn't authorized to access the Mahalo REST API resource this because we set this resource ref for our endpoint and now to become authorized we need go to the magenta admin panel here's my local admin panel and we need to go to system integrations and let's create new integration let's call it rest api and what we're looking here is hello rest yeah hello rest and api save and activate okay we created new integration it has hello rest api resource access and now we can use access token in our request so we need to add authorization in header with bearer and our access token and let's try again and you see we get get response and what about customer for customer we need access token as well but we can get it with another API request it's integration customer token and as a param we need to put username and password and we will get access token as a response so let's try it again it's customer and we see error and if we add authorization bear and token we just get from the endpoint you see it works let's just rename it to see yeah Hello customer, cool. Okay, that's it. In we discuss and saw how all three access levels works. Hope to see you in the new videos.